What, you metallic menace? The Aztec medallion, where is it? I said, where is it? Oh, oh, oh. mighty malevolent master. <laughs> there were... <clears throat> there were some pop. You bungling bucket of bolts! <laughs> Slightest little problem, and you just yeah, <laughs> go to pieces. Return with that medallion, Fangstar, or it will be <laughs> the vampire fleas for you, you mangy mess. <laughs> vampire fleas. <laughs> I won't let you down, your wickedness! Once I have that Aztec medallion, Apparitia, nothing can stop me! Come, Apparitia. It is time to deal with that traitorous headless horseman! Tracy! Where's the pizza? It's game time! Uh, pizza? Did somebody say pizza? Oh no! Huh? What? A banana pizza? <laughs> I can't stand it, not banana pizza, not again! <laughs> Hold still. Uh, hello. You've reached the Ghostbusters. They can't come to the phone right now. They caught bananas. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the Ghostbusters. Jake speaking. What? <laughs> Call Jessica. Tell her we'll meet her at the pier. It's Madam Y. There's ghost trouble. We're going ghost busting. Wait, guys. What about me? Oh, gee, Belfry, somebody needs to stay here in case we get any important calls. Uh... You can have the pizza, Belfry. Huh? Yuck. Let's go ghost busting. <laughs> Jessica's gonna meet us at the pier. Step on it, Tracy. <laughs> There's Madam's wagon. Seems quiet. False alarm. I knew it. Let's go home. <laughs>
Tracy searched the pier. I'll check out Madam Y's wagon. Sure, Jake, sure. We'll search the dark old pier, no problem. You go right out in the nice warm light, bro. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie. Where's Jake? I got here as fast as... Oh! Jake, what is it? I have no idea. I hope Madam knows. As well as I can figure, some spirits trying to make contact with us. But what kind of lame brain ghost to do it like this? T -t Tracy? Jessica? I hope. I have come to help you. I assure you, my only intention is to warn you about Prime Evil and the Aztec Medallion. Come on, Headless. You expect us to swallow that? Easy, chick. Ah, it's all right, madam. I don't blame Jake for not believing me. How can I? After what you did to my great-grandfather. Why? What did he do? Plenty. Hmm. Come. I show you what Headless did. <laughs> Happened a long time ago, when Jake's great grandfather was a young man. He had discovered a fabulous gold mine, but Primeval wanted that mine for his own wicked purposes. So he sent his ghosts to hunt the mine. Primeval and his gang frightened away all the workers. Jake's great grandfather tried to work the mine himself, but he couldn't. The mine was closed down. It took years for Jake's great-grandfather to regain his fortune. And you were one of those ghosts that haunted the mine, weren't you? Yeah, I was, but... But nothing. We can't trust him. He's just trying to uh, get ahead with prime evil. <gasps> headless! You... you're not headless! Hey, I'm only here to warn you about the Aztec medallion. Yeah, the whole headless bit was Primeval's idea to make me scarier. It didn't work. You see, my problem is I can't bear to really scare anyone. Oh, yeah? I only like scary things that are fun, <laughs> like Halloween. <laughs> now that's fun. Jake, I've read about this Aztec medallion. If Primeval gets his hands on it, that would mean big trouble. She's right, Jake. Whoever controls the medallion controls the secrets of the Aztecs. Primeval would become the most powerful force on Earth. All right. Then we have to get the Aztec medallion before Primeval does. You say you want to help us, Headless. Will you 
lead the Ghostbusters back in time to the days of the Aztec Empire? Madam, no! I'll lead them there, madam. You can trust me. Well, I guess we don't have much choice. Let's go ghostbusting! Ghostbusting, what an unfortunate phrase. <laughs> We're over Mexico. Hit the time warp. <laughs> Whoa! No time warps. No way. Uh -uh. Get it. What? Let's go home. Yeah, those time warps are pretty tough. And GP's old and dilapidated and... Old? Oh, dilapidated? You just hang on to your hat, Mr. Smarty Pants Eddie Spencer Jr. What'd I say? <laughs> Time warp, you bozos! On your toes! Here we go! Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this! No! What is that? Look! Welcome to ancient Mexico! Lost city of the Aztecs. Yeah, and well, that's exactly where we will find the Aztec medallion. Various, if you're telling us the truth. <laughs> you still don't trust me. It's so strange, so empty. <laughs> uh, it's not completely empty, Fangsters here. Up there! After him! Let's go! Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, guys, be on the lookout for booby traps. Trace, think this might be one of those booby traps? Hey, <laughs> okay, I won't touch you. Take it easy. <sighs> what do you take me for, Tracy? Hand over that medallion, Fangster. Eddie, look out! Out of my way, ghost bunglers! Face, don't. Huh? I am the sorcerer of Nescatuto. 
What is the meaning of this intrusion? Sir, we came to prevent the theft of the medallion. We... <sighs> we were trying to steal it. I stopped them. Thanks to your lion. <laughs> did not, did not. Intruders! The sand beast shall judge you. What do you mean, the sand beast? Help! Tracy, quick! I guess this is what you might call a tight spot. So long, fuckers. Uh, did he have to say suckers? <laughs> Saved. You are free to go. Okie dokie. Well, what about Fangster? Don't worry, Eddie. I'm sure Primeval will give Fangster just what he deserves. <laughs> what a lovely reward! <laughs> Getting Primeval's vampire, please, for a whole month! <laughs> You lucky dog, you! <laughs> well, all's well that ends well. I just hope I have redeemed myself in some small way. Headless, are you kidding? We'd have never stopped Primeval without your help. That's right, Headless. You're okay. I owe you an apology. <laughs> and now we're gonna help you, my friend. Because I have a really terrific idea. Come on, guys. Where do you see this? <laughs> oh, boy, is this ever great. The kids are having a good time. And so am I. Thanks, Jake. Great work, partner. <laughs> That's for being big enough to admit you were wrong about Headless. And that's for teaching him that it's much more fun to make people laugh than to frighten them. Hi, folks. I think Jake would like to say something. Jake? Thanks, Gilly. I sure do have something to say. I want to tell all you boys and girls just what I learned today. You see, I didn't want to trust the Headless Horseman because of mistakes he'd made in the past. But when Madam gave him a second chance to prove himself, well, he really did. So remember, everybody, your friends, your family, even you make mistakes. And everybody deserves a second chance. Visit us, your greatness. 
I've come to make a change here at Hot Quarters. Prime Cream Puff. Uh-oh. Uh, change? What, what kind of change? You! You're finished here. Washed up, kaput, fitty, gone, bye-bye! Sire, but, 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 but nothing! You've let those ghost bunglers beat us ghosts for the last time! I, I feel so weak! What, what, what have you done to me? Not much. Just zap you with the spell of the arcane curse! Yeah. That's all? No, no, not, not the arcane curse. I'll lose all my powers and I'll fade away to nothing. That's right. You'll only be a memory, Primeval. Only nobody will remember you. <laughs> everyone stand by test firing of the bubble blaster will start in exactly five seconds huh? test firing five seconds four three let me out of here two one fire not enough power trace aha there that ought to do it Watch it, watch it! Yeah. Go away! I'm never ever gonna touch something I'm not supposed to touch never ever again. Well, at least it's a nice day for a walk. No, no. the world. 
all coming to. <laughs> It's the ghost alarm. And from the sound of it, it's a big ghost, too. But where is it? That's where it is. Main Street. Let's go bust that ghost. Right. Gee, guys, I don't know. It's late. I'm kind of tired and... Let's go, go, My nose is twitching like crazy. Hit it, Tracy. Let's go find it. Come to me, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> The ghost is close. Gee, Jake, this is the third time we've driven around the block, and there's still no sign of a ghost. Are you sure your nose is working all right? Yeah, Jake. Maybe that super ghost-sniffing schnozola yours is out of whack, like your brains. Come on, guys, trust me. My nose knows. Well, now, think about it. How hard can it be to perform one little good deed? All right, you miserable mortals. Which one of you needs a good deed? Come back here. I'll teach you to... Calm yourself. Hold it, Boneface. The Ghostbusters have arrived. Wait, wait. It's not what you think. No, I'm here because I want to... I want to perform a good deed. What? Mama, hold my hand. You want to do a good deed? Yeah, Trey, sounds fishy to me, too. Look, you have to... Yikes! What's that thing? It's one of Big Evil's monsters! He's after me! Help! <laughs> Look out! It's Big Evil's monster! He's trying to keep me from... 
from doing a, a good deed. Yeah, oh, wow, we're sitting ducks here on the ground. Correction, make that roasted ducks. Ducks, good thinking, Eddie. We'll get off the ground and fight that thing in the air. Take off with that thing up there? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, on the other hand, what are we waiting for? Let's get out of here! Steady, Tracy. Steady. <laughs> that takes care of that. All right, let's get back to Ghost Command and get to the bottom of this good deed business. <laughs> Prime Eagles join forces with the Ghost Bunglers, huh? <laughs> so much the better. I'll capture them all at the same time. <laughs> Get down there, my pets. Get those Ghost Bunglers! Belfry, it's okay. Prime Eagle says he only wants to do a good deed. Huh? You want to do a good deed? Yes, what's it to you? Bows, bows, bows. I've never seen anyone as ugly as you, you, you. I'll show you ugly. <laughs> Start calling him Prime Fizzle. <laughs> Prime Fizzle. <laughs> Prime Fizzle. That's what he is. Prime Fizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Prime Fizzle. <laughs> Prime Fizzle. <laughs> I'll, I'll fix you. I'll... Oh no, I'm disappearing again. Prime Fizzle. <laughs> Right, fellas, cool it. Hey, gosh, sorry. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry. Thank you, little rat. I, I mean, bat. <laughs> you're up, you're up. Kindness will not be forgotten. Okay, Prime Evil, level with us. What's this about a good deed? Well, yes, after years of being so, so wonderfully wicked. I thought a little change would be, uh, well, uh, rewarding. Oh, sure. Huh? Now what? Ghost attack! Look! Ha! Your history, ghost! Oh my gosh! There's another one! <laughs> Ghost bunglers do 
Don't be ridiculous. saw how nobody thought anyone as wicked as Prime Evil could ever do a good deed. But you know, very few people are all bad, and chances are if you show them a little kindness like Belfry did, you'll find some good in most everyone. But one thing's for sure, if you treat somebody wrong, that's the way you'll be treated in return. Another way of saying this is, do unto others the way you would have them do unto you, and that really makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Sector GB-71, shall I activate the lasers, Dr. Morrow? Yes, Master Computer, commence standard laser procedure. One down, two to go. Good work, Dr. Morrow. I always knew you were the one we could count on when things got tough. I can't wait to get back and report Crusader is fully operational. Thanks to you, Doc, Earth will be safe from Simon's meteor raids. Congratulations, brother. I'm proud of you. Thanks, sis. 
We are still undetected. Activate invisibility barrier. Invisibility barrier activated. Ready, Spectre? Ready, Simon. I await your command. Just another minute, and I'll have Moro and his meddling sister, Futura, right where I want them. Greetings, Ghostbusters! Futura! No! Hey, how about a little vacation? Vacation? Yes, I want you to meet someone special. Someone very special. Someone special? Yes, he's... Alert. Alert. Oh, something's wrong. I'll have to call you back. Uh-oh. Sounds like trouble. Yeah, we don't even know where she was calling from. Well, I'm not going to move until Futura calls back. Sensors indicate a camouflaged star cruiser nearby. Simon? Given a careful assessment of probabilities, I would say yes. Time for our little surprise. A little surprise. <laughs> That's good, Simon. That's very good. Phase one completed, Spectre. Stand by for phase two. Bolt of undetermined type and origin, and our power cells are. Simon's made. done something to the master computer. Forget Simon. Look, we're going to be smashed by that meteor. All power to the shields. Okay, but there's not much power left. Jake, it's her. It's Futura. Jake, Tracy, Eddie. Futura. We hear you, Futura. Go ahead. Ghostbusters, come in. Call in Ghostbusters. Oh, sorry, guys. Somebody's jamming Futura's transmission. We can hear her, but she can't hear us. Help! 30th century. Asteroid belt. Starbase Crusader. Help! <laughs> Help! Yeah. Who's that? I don't know, Eddie. But I can tell you this, we're going to the future to find out. Beware, ghost bunglers. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay put in the 20th century, where you belong. All right, team, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? I want to go, too. Gee, Belfry. What if Futura tries to call again? Somebody has to be here. Well, okay, I'll stay, but this is the last time. All right, Eddie, time to put on our ghost clothes. Let's go, go,
Hit the time, Turbo Tracy. We gotta hurry. <laughs> time, Turbo. Uh-uh. No way. Forget it. But, GB, it's Futura. She's in trouble. Real trouble. Futura in trouble? Well, why didn't you say so? That means Time Hopper's in trouble, too. <laughs> sister. Huh, gee, thanks. Now, what makes you think your master computer's haunted? This. Watch the TV. Help! Yeah, that's it for me. No more TV. Don't worry. You can always count on the Ghostbusters when things really get tough. Uh, exactly. How do we get inside the computer to get that ghost out? I haven't the slightest idea, Jake. You got what, Trace? An idea. He's got an idea. He's got a bright idea. How'd he do that? Perfect. My plan is perfect. They'll never find a way to get Spectre out of that computer. Not before she's destroyed it. Brilliant, Tracy. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, yeah! What exactly did he do? Tracy's modified a standard astral transporter to miniaturize us so we can beam directly inside the computer. That thing's gonna shrink us? Right. Oh, don't worry. It won't last long. Sis, I have to go in with the Ghostbusters to guide them. Can you hold the fort while we're gone? I'll be fine. You be careful inside that computer. If anything happened to my favorite brother... What do you mean, favorite brother? I'm your only brother. Oh, just be careful. All right, let's see if it works. Here we go, go Buster! Ghostbusters! Wow! This is incredible! It's like another world in here! Ah, my favorite sitting duck! Uh-oh! Time to get moving! Game of chicken, eh? 
All right, I'll play. I'll hope this works. I won't budge. Tracy, look at this. It's still smoking. Whoever did that is probably still nearby. <laughs> so, the ghost bunglers and Doc Morrow. to conjure up something very special for that. What's that? I don't know, but we better go find out. Right. Let's go, Ghostbusters! Uh, do we have to? Yeah. Yeah. Take me to the nicest places. No. Jake, Marlo, come in. Oh, too much interference. I can't reach them. Oh no. Now what? <laughs> Their force field is weakening. It won't be long now. With that ghost still inside the computer, they're doomed. Work, Trace. That'll hold him until we can. No! Oh! The main circuit. Somebody's sabotaging it. Come on! If that main circuit's destroyed, Crusader is finished. And so are we! She short circuits that ship. How do we get up there to stop her? You've got another idea, Tracy? <laughs> A hat? That's his idea? Just the thing to sap a shadow wraith. Dematerializer, Eddie, hurry! Uh, can't see. Uh, can't see. Hurry, Ghostbusters! If you're gonna do it, do it now! The Ghostbusters have done it! We're just failing. What's going on? Ah, uh, they fixed the computer. <laughs> It's 
impossible. How could they? Now, what do we do with this guy? Yes, we can't leave him in here. We ought to send him back to Simon. Terrific. Mm, idea. Huh? Uh, really, me? You sorry, stupid excuse for a shadow race. Hey, wait a minute, I... Wait a minute? I waited hours. And for what? You let those... those juvenile ghost bunglers zap you. That's it. I'm not getting any c closer. It's okay. This is close enough. <laughs> little beastie will ride the beam right into Simon's computer. Bye-bye, <laughs> beastie. Have fun inside Simon's computer. We've been blasted. Those Ghostbusters. A sneak attack. How dare they? Jake, I can't thank you enough. Like my sister says, you can always count on the Ghostbusters when things really get tough. Hey, don't mention it. Nothing's too good for Futura or her brother, as far as the Ghostbusters are concerned. You know, Futura thinks you're pretty special, too. That's right. Oh, uh... <laughs> 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 Hi there. In today's story, Futura and her brother both had tough jobs to do. But because of their love for each other, they knew they could count on each other for help. There are always jobs or problems that are too tough to handle alone, and that's when it's great to have a brother or sister or a friend to turn to. Likewise, whenever someone you love asks for help, give them a hand, because that's what love and families are all about.